This is the Creative Market Free Goods Run-Up Week of April 27th, 2015. There are six different items for free this week, but they are free this week only. So if you see something you like, be sure to check out the description of this video where I'll place links to each one of them. So first up here is Display Screen Mockup Pack. This is a pack of photorealistic Apple device mockups, and this comes in a Photoshop file, so you are going to need Adobe Photoshop to use these. So there's a bunch of example layouts right here, which I have the first one to open up, and these are very easy to modify. You just double click on the different screenshot smart objects that are included. So I'm inside the iMac one right here, so double click on that smart object, which will bring you up to this page with these nice guidelines showing you where the center is. So I went ahead and just put my logo in here as a quick demonstration. So all I gotta do to apply these is save the smart object window once you've made the changes. When it's done saving, just close it, and then it will automatically apply to this mockup right here. It's super fast and easy to do that, and it looks quite realistic. If you take a look at the screen here you can tell they did a nice job of highlighting a nice reflection on the screen as well as some shadows at the bases of the different objects here so like I said before this is just one of the pre-made layouts they made so I'm just gonna quickly scroll through all the different ones that I've done here and as you can see as well it does go ahead and just update the different laptop screens to show the mock-up that I've done so if you're a web developer or something similar to that, this would come in really handy to show your clients how they might expect to see your work looking on a bunch of different devices. It's a little bit easier to visualize how something's going to look on the web when you actually see it applied to a device screen of some sort. So here's the 10th one right here with a ton of different devices on it. And if you want to as well, you can just use this mockups folder, which will have either just the iMac, MacBook, iPads or iPhones. So a very cool pack of different Apple device mockups, all of which look very realistic. So I think if you're looking for some mockups, this is a very complete pack that should keep you busy for quite a while. So if you think you'll have use for this pack, just be sure to pick it up this week. Next up is 48 watercolor backgrounds. This is a collection of 48 different watercolor backgrounds in JPEG format. And these are grouped into different themes. So I have one of each of the different theme images opened here. So I'm just going to show five instead of all 48, but this should give you a pretty good idea of what is included. So this first one here is from the All Seasons Bonus folder. And the image size for this, if I go to image, image size is 3600 by 3600 pixels, which if I move that to inches, it's about 12 by 12 at 300 PPI. So it should be plenty big for most print or digital applications. So I'm going to go to the next image right here, which is one from the fall watercolors. And the groups of the different folders by the season's name will tend to use those season's colors. If you think of the different tree leaves or different colors you might associate with summer, spring, or fall, that sort of stuff. So this fall one has a very autumn group of tones to it. If I move over to spring though, you can tell it's a lot brighter with the bright blues and greens that you tend to associate with the spring season. And I'm going to jump over to the summer, which has a nice bright yellow color to it. And right now I'm at 35%, but I'll just zoom in up to 100% here so you can see how these look up close. These are very detailed watercolors, and I don't see any weird pixelation or artifact any of that going on in these so they are very high quality as well so I'm gonna jump over to the last one here which is the winter and this is probably one of my favorite watercolors of the bunch here a really nice collection of blues and purples with some nice and subtle transitions throughout so if you're looking for some watercolor textures this is a really great pack to pick up like I said before there are 48 in total not just the five that I've shown here and they are grouped by season so this might be a little bit of a helpful way for you to sort through the different colors and find one that you think will work the best but if you do like these watercolor backgrounds just be sure to pick them up this week while they're still free next up we have Magnifica which is a font this font is provided in open type font format and it also includes these bonus scrolling elements right here in Illustrator as well as EPS file format, so it's really cool that they included all these different elements. And I also think that all these elements will work really well with the font shown right here in the middle. So if you want to build something custom or build a custom layout, a lot of the work is already done for you. It's just a matter of typing your word out and then making a nice arrangement from the different elements here. So off to the side here, I've typed out all the different letters of this font in both lowercase as well as capital letters. So I'm going to zoom in on the lowercase letters first up here. And I actually really like how this font looks. It has a very handmade feel to it while still looking extremely legible and also very professional in my opinion. If I zoom in really close so we can get a better idea of how these look up close, you can see that all the letters have a very nice and smooth appearance. I don't see any weird or harsh edges. And also I think all these letters work very nicely together. That They look like they're part of a family, which is really the whole point. I think anything that you want to give a vintage or handmade vibe to this might come in really handy and I also really enjoy how these capital letters look they have quite a bit of style to them so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more and then scroll through all the different capital options that are available here so as you can tell there is a nice selection of different letters here and a lot of them have these kind of cool swooping features to them that really help these capitals stand apart 
as a nice and bold addition to this font. And I also really enjoy these number forms as well as all the different special characters here. They do a nice job of fitting in with the uppercase as well as lowercase letters. And they all have quite a bit of style to them. In particular, I think the dollar sign as well as ampersands look really nice on this particular font. And if I click on the font right here and then go to type and then glyphs near the top, you can see all the different special characters that are included. There's a really nice and diverse selection of different special characters included here. Stuff like registration marks, copyright marks, a yen symbol, and then a ton of different Latin based special characters with accent marks and all that fun stuff. So it should work good on a ton of different Latin based languages. But overall, a very cool looking vintage inspired font that I think was handled really well. It does a great job of imparting that vintage vibe while still giving it a nice handmade feel. And the included bonus elements of all these different scrolling elements as well as outside border elements is a really nice touch. So this pack is a huge recommendation from me. Just be sure to pick it up this week while it's still free. Next up is Blogify HTML template. This is an HTML and CSS theme for bloggers, which means you aren't going to need something like WordPress to go ahead and use this, but you are going to need at least basic knowledge with HTML, CSS to change stuff like the type that's included here or change out the images and videos, but that should be really straightforward for you to do and quite easy if you have even a basic level of understanding of that stuff. But as you can see here, this is a very straightforward and very content focused blog theme. So as you can see here, there are things like gallery posts where you can scroll through the images or they'll automatically go through the different images themselves. If I keep on scrolling down here, there's different pages of items. So this is all paginated in terms of how it is displaying this information. And it's also responsive, so it should look good no matter what kind of device you happen to be using to look at this on. As you can see right here, this does include stuff like audio embeds, which is what this is right here. If you click on the read more button, you'll be brought to a new page with plenty of room for extra images, lots of type, as well as tags at the bottom. And at the very bottom here, there's a spot for author information as well as a built-in comment section. So it's a very nice, simple, and clean layout right here. At the very bottom here, there's a ton of different social icons that you can use to link to your own work. Now, if I go up to the top here under archive, it shows a very straightforward way of archiving different posts. So latest posts, post by month, year, and then different categories or tags. It's a really quick way to go through and make your information really easy to find. If I click on the contact button up at the top here, a nice and simple contact form with name, email, website, and message. If you click on this little down arrow right here, it brings up this other menu with categories, a Twitter feed, as well as a Dribble link. So this is kind of a cool little added feature up at the top here if you want to add in a little bit different way of navigating the website. But overall, this is a nice, simple, and straightforward blog theme that should be really easy to go in and modify. And it does a really nice job of focusing on the content. So if you're a photographer, designer, anything that's very visually based, I think this is a really great theme to use. But it should work great for anyone who wants their content to be the first and foremost thing that people see when they go to the website. So if you think this looks useful to you, be sure to pick this up this week while it's still free. Next up is Authentic Book Mockups. This is a pretty cool pack because it's a set of mockups that I don't tend to see a lot of, and that is book mockups. So I'm going to go to image and image size just so you can kind of know the general idea of how big these are. This one is 2,000 by 3,000 pixels, but that does change throughout these three different included book mockups. But it should be plenty big for most things you'd want to use this on, especially for anything on the web. It's more than big enough for all that. And it's actually very easy to go in here and modify all this stuff. So there's a folder called Your Content, where you can double click on these different smart objects. So this one says change left page content, change right page content, and then change cover which you can't see too well, but it's just this blue cover in the background here. So if I just double click on this change right page content, which is right here on my screen to bring up a smart window, you just have to drop in your work right here. And this is what will be updated on the actual book cover. So I'm just going to flip this upside down quick so you can see how this looks when you actually update it and how easy it is to update it. So just plop your work in there. And when you're done, just hit control S on a PC or command S on a Mac to save it. And then you can go ahead and close that window. And then it automatically updates on this book page super quick and easy as you can tell it made this upside down since that's what i did to it but feel free to add your own content in here however you see fit so here's a second book mock-up which is a really nice cover shot and in these folders as well there's a choose options folder so if i turn this off you can tell it just changes the way the background looks a little bit so there's a few different additional lighting effect features inside of here in case you want to change how these look just a little bit and if i double click on this change cover smart layer right here you can see the cover that's shown in the book so just flip this image out to be whatever it is you want it to be save it close it and then it will automatically update on this image. So here's the last book mock-up, which is a really nice image just showing off the cover. So perhaps if you're doing a book cover design for someone and you want to really step up your work a little bit and give them a really solid mock-up that lets them know exactly how they should expect this to look when it's actually applied to a book, this might come in super handy. So if you think any one of these three different book mock-ups might come in handy for you, just be sure to pick it up this week while it's still free. And last up here, we have some vector elements. 
This is a pack of various design elements in EPS format, and they do include all these layouts in JPEG format as well, but since that is flat and these are all layered, you might find that the EPS files are a lot more useful to you, but the option is there if you do want to use the JPEGs. So included in all these are a ton of different layout and different design elements that you can go ahead, choose from, and use. So this page in particular has a lot of cool stuff in terms of floral reefs as well as scrolling border elements. So this page right here is a nice collection of different borders to pick from, and if you unlock the background layer, you can go ahead and use these background wood textures as well on their own. So even if you don't want to use these included banners right here, you could just go in and use some of the different textures that are behind them if that's something you want to do. So this page right here has a nice grouping of different design elements as well as in the center right here, there's a pre-made design layout that you could go ahead and use. You can just change this type in the middle to be whatever it is you want it to be. So there's stuff like different floral elements, there are banners, leaves, arrows, as well as some diamonds. So here's the next page, which has a ton of different floral framing options in case that's something you might find useful. There's a pretty decent selection of them to choose from here. And since these are a vector, you can scale them as big or as small as you want without losing any quality, so this should be pretty versatile for that aspect. And this page right here has a nice pre-made plant layout. And of course, if you want to, you can change the color of these. So if you want to change this to be something different, like a pretty bright blue right here, you can go ahead and do that very easily. And then you can just set your own custom type on this banner right here to say whatever it is you want it to say. So if you're doing a spring party or even like a wedding invitation, something like that, that has a spring or very outdoorsy theme, stuff like this might come in pretty handy for that. So here's this page, which is a poster template. And I actually quite like how this looks. It has a really fun grouping of colors to pick from. So even if you just like the colors that they're using on this, you can go ahead and use this as a nice example for different colors combinations that might work pretty nicely together. One thing to note here, all this type is outlined, so it's not live. So if you want to customize this to suit your needs, or if you want to make this say something very specific, you'll have to swap these different fonts out. But I think any fun, hand-drawn, script-looking font would probably work pretty nicely in here. Or if you're feeling more adventurous, you could custom write your own font in here as well. That might lead to a pretty cool effect. So here's the last page right here, which I actually really like. It reminds me of something that worked really well as like a scrapbooking cover or something similar to that. It has these really cool wooden background textures that you can go ahead and pull and use on their own if you want to. And I like this simple floral layout in the middle here. It does a nice job of framing this type in the center here. So you could even do something like remove this word as well as the different graphic elements inside and replace this white square right here with a photo. I think that could work quite nicely. But a nice pack of different elements to choose from here. There's a ton of different stuff to go in and use and kind of customize and build your own custom arrangements with. So if you think you'll find these useful, just be sure to pick this up this week while it's still free. So that's it for this week's free goods, and do remember they are free this week only, so be sure to check out the description of this video where you can find links to each one of them. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please like and favorite, and if you want to see this video every week, please subscribe. This video is released every Monday till you know it's free this week on Creative Market. Thank you for watching.